another tip for conflict mastery. So my work is all grounded in martial arts. And one of the things that we do that I love, that I, I really translate into conflict mastery, is when we are ready to practice with a person, we bow and we say, Onegai shamas, which means, will you practice with me? And I love that because it sets us up in an agreement that we're going to engage with each other. And it allows me to get centered. It allows me to honor the person that I'm practicing with. And the same goes true if I've got a conflict, or it doesn't even have to be a conflict, but a meeting with another person. It's thinking about, okay, so am I centered? Am I present? And am I honoring the other person? And will they practice with me? And having that mindset that this communication, and most communication is, it's practice, it's an experiment as we evolve and explore how do we come to some mutual agreement around what we're wanting to do where we can honor each other and honor ourselves as well. And so think about that in terms of do you have an agenda? Do you shake hands? And maybe you even actually bow. I often do that in my mind when I start a conversation is having that, creating that space. And so thinking about how do you begin your meetings? And it may just be a review of what your intention is. And then the part that I, that I also love that, that really our bookends to this is when we're done practicing, what we do is we bow again and we say, Domo regato gozaimashita, which means thank you very much for this practice. And so I think having that mindset around our communication really sets us up for success, particularly if we have big differences. So that's it this time. I'll see you next time. Thank you so very much.